I did not realize how much shame comes up for me when I buy clothes. All my buttons are pushed. So this is a follow up to that last video of me completely losing my mind <laughs> and having my pretty woman experience where all the stores were like, mm, and I'm like, I need to buy something nice. Um, okay. I also forgot about this aspect. Thank you, Lauren. This is my mutual. I love her. We're buddies. We go way back to like New York comedy school. And I, I forgot about this aspect too, because even though like I like how I look now, I feel good in my body. When I try on clothes, I hate how I look, no matter how confident I feel. There's something about the lighting of the dressing rooms. There's something about being like barefoot in this like intimate and, and you know and the curtains never close they can see me like, i feel like like so insecure trying on clothes in a store but especially one of these fancy rodeo drive type stores like here in france that i was going to like, i seriously can't believe stores exist this is my first time in a store that they did not have a price tag on it you're supposed to assume like you should not be in there if you can't afford a lot so i mean i i, I was like too afraid to be like how much are these pants so just for starters um i spent five hours trying to find something for this photo shoot and i love my clothes i love wearing like see everything i get i get on vented so everything by the way i haven't bought anything new today was the first time i bought something new in three years three and a half years even my wedding dress was used in my and it was like a nice gown i literally had to buy because i got period blood all over it <laughs> in the dressing room but it was nice but it was like a used wedding dress so i got it for like i don't know 250 euros i think so today i actually bought some red pants that are to go with this sweater that i want to wear for this photo thing and they were brand new and i was like wow I'm pretty proud of myself. All the clothes that I wear that I really, I really love picking out fun, cute things. Even the hats, everything is used. I buy it on Vinted online. I never have to go into a store and smell all the perfume and deal with the crazy light, deal with the judgmental, like bunching, like people running the store who are like, mm, really? I'm not saying all of them are like that, but in fancy stores that I understand why pretty woman was like, big mistake. I get that now. I wanted to be like, I have money. Just help me. God, I know I look stupid, but I do actually have money. I saved for this moment. Anyway, anyway, the other thing is like, again, I am at my most confident I've ever been. I actually feel like I look better now at 45 than I ever did in my 20s or 30s or whatever. Because I was really sick back then. I was like, blah, blah. so I had a crazy body image issue. I wore clothes with holes in them and stains on them because I just didn't care. I was in the outdoors. I was working on set and, you know, in the set in the art department where you just are covered in paint all the time and, you know, tape. Like, no matter what I weigh, I will always see something different. And even though I have all the privilege, right, of, of, of being in a skinnier body, whatever, whatever is broken up here never sees what other people see. So I'm always like, God, I don't know if it's ever going to go away. But I finally made peace with my body until I enter a dressing room. So I don't even face all of the other things of being in a bigger body. You know, the, 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 the treatment of others, the, the, all, you know, all this stuff. I mean, I'm the smallest I've ever been right now. And I still am always like, I don't which is all like in totally internalized fat phobia and I hate it and I hate purity culture taught me I hate capitalism taught me that patriarchy taught me this and it's all tied into you know all the systems right so anyway and on top of that it comes down to money a part of me is like maybe you should buy a nice dress Melanie even though it's very expensive maybe it's nice to have a nice dress like and I'm like no I can't I can't it is so hard to level up I will level up in my career and I'll level up in other things. But when it comes to like how I look and like my finances, I, it's so hard. And the, Lauren, thank you, Lauren. Lauren's the one who taught me to level up until, uh, you know, I hired her to help me figure out how to like respect myself more. And I was charging people cause I'm also a writing coach. I'm not doing as much lately, but I should probably start doing it because this stuff, this is burning me out. Um, I wasn't charging enough. I, I literally changed people's lives, their careers like that. I'm really good at it. But I was like, I don't know, maybe I should tell, you know? And it's people like Lauren and some of my other friends are like, no, Melanie. Like they have to be mean about it. Not mean, never mean, but like firm, like, no, I know it's uncomfortable, but this is what you're worth. Even if you don't believe it. <sighs> 
all of these things play into this, right? The shame, the shame is in all of it. God, I'm like, why am I 45 and just now getting headshots? All of my peers in New York and LA were, would invest in their headshots right out of the gate because they knew they had to do that. Not me. There's something about me that always wants to humble myself, you know? My goal is to be a peacock, okay? Like, I want to have the confidence of a peacock that's like, look at me, I like, I look at me, you know? I swear, I think it's so funny that like male birds are the ones who are like, Bleh! and like the female birds are just boring. It makes sense. I wish I, <laughs> I just could, I want, I want, maybe that's my new goal, to, to be this this person i am still i don't i hope that i will unlearn this with time but really stepping into my power owning my power being proud of myself instead of always being well i don't know maybe maybe you know but you know you blah, blah. like that little voice no it's like a, a ironic protector but it, it it's not helping it's literally holding me back held back my career luckily i i worked on that voice when it came to dating which is what how i stopped Settling for crap for men as you know taking a hard look at that like maybe you don't deserve a man And that paid off so I am I am entering like th this I'm at a different level of my video game before it was like My home life and then it was like my dating life now. It's my career How do I level up and respect myself in my career? And so tomorrow I am going to go buy that stupidly expensive dress because I see it as an investment. It is so, I can't believe they charge this much for dresses. I've shown it to several friends. And by the way, I did have a friend at the mall with me yesterday. I would not have, I mean, I literally showed up in tears and then I saw her and I was like, oh, okay, this could be fun. But today it's like a, what? I don't have friends who can just get off work to go shopping for five hours with me. So I was sending photos to my husband and you know, he was helping me, but, um. All my friends who, by the way, I forgot that one of my friends is literally a costume designer. <laughs> like I worked in the film industry. I called one of my friends who's like a home decorator and she's dating a costume designer. She's literally in the wardrobe department on set in BC with all these wardrobe people. So she looked at like the backdrops I chose, the dress, all the things. And she was like, yes, gave me some, a, a little bit of feedback for me to like get something. And now I'm like, I feel good, but it's like, it doesn't even occur to me to ask people. Just one reason why I make these videos, because y'all remind me <laughs> that we can't do this crap alone. We need people's help, we need their advice. Not always, sometimes we really know what's best for us and we need to like stop listening to other people's advice. But staying true to myself, true to my intuition, and also being open to advice from people who really know me and get me. Um, that's just like weird balance. And now I feel really good about the shoot. Tomorrow, we're gonna go buy that dress and lock it in. It's, it's due tomorrow. Tomorrow is the deadline. <laughs> I waited until ADHD. It's the bane of my existence, but it's also what makes me so creative. So I'm, I'm grateful for it, but God.